TV's Brooke Shiro sat down with the bishop and his lawyer about the message that they hope this lawsuit sends. People of God, I present to you your new bishop, the Reverend Dr. Megan Rohr. The first openly transgender bishop only served the Evangelical Lutheran Church in that role for a year. Megan Rohrer resigned. He was accused of racism after firing a lower-ranking reverend. The church who had directed me to take those actions could have easily have corrected the record and instead um, put forth misinformation on purpose. Now Rohrer's firing back with a lawsuit, alleging he was forced out, claiming a hostile work environment and harassment, whistleblowing retaliation and defamation, saying he received constant violent threats, was subject to a concerted hate campaign calling him a racist, and repeatedly misgendered 44 separate times. It's been really baffling to me the level of explicit transphobia that I've experienced in my journey as a bishop. Now he says he's standing up after being put down and discriminated by both clergy and congregates. When it happens in your church community, when it happens because you want to pray and because you want to be at church, it hurts in an extra special way. The Sierra Pacific Synod of the Church has not commented, but Rohrer's attorney says the harassment claim is on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. It is outrageous in this day and age that someone as incredible and devoted as Reverend Rohrer would be treated as egregiously as the church has treated him. Pushing for change in a church that says it welcomes and respects all people. I have a very strong faith still, but my faith in the church isn't as strong. Hoping to repair his reputation while sending a message of inclusion. Brooks DeRose, KTVU Fox 2 News.